so what we're doing with this trim is we understand the anatomy of that internal foot that we're trying to fit this hoof capsule very snugly to this internal foot so that there are no leverages so that the hoof won't get distorted and it dramatically improves the performance of the horse and his comfort and just about everything else okay so this is all based again on getting to understand hoof growth understand hoof wall and um, how removing certain leverages affects how it grows how uh, if it does get leveraged with the walls too long the toe too long away from the base of the toe of the foot here how it distorts the whole capsule um, it'd be like uh, putting another size shoe on you or you having to wear somebody else's shoes or shoes that were all totally worn out and falling apart and things like that I mean you know how important it is for you to have good well-fitting shoes on your feet is not that correct well it's the same thing for the horse except his shoe is his hoof capsule his hoof capsule here now here's something I want you to think about now when you're trimming okay uh, when you have that horse's foot in your hand you're not dealing with one object you're dealing with two objects first of all what you have in your hand and what you can see is this hoof capsule now I want you to look at the thickness of the walls okay they're not very thick are they look at the thickness of the sole not all that thick not much to it see okay so when you thin down this wall up here now um, you got to remember and I've taught in some other videos that the hoof wall here okay is it composed of layers and the hardest layer is on the exterior and it gets softer as you go in therefore it is this exterior hard layer that maintains the shape of this very thin inner hoof wall okay so if you rasp off the hardest outer layer to a soft layer well here we go let's move some of this what do you have you have this what's connected to that well how much does your horse weigh you know you've got what 1200 pounds and and you know the the poundage is increased per square inch in the foot of the horse okay so you've got this tremendous force and this tremendous weight of this whole horse that's attached to this foot pressing down pressing down and in and out on the interior of this hoof capsule here okay let's get this so you can see it look it's not very thick and the hardest part is the very very exterior layer it gets softer as you go in so what do you think happens when you rasp down this wall just to make it look nice make it look like a healthy hoof thinking you're getting rid of a flare or whatever dressing it up what do you think happens <clears throat> when you rasp this down it weakens you've weakened the exterior hard layers so that then thousands of pounds of foot are pressing down on the inside and pushing it all out of shape there you go okay so that is why we do not rasp down this upper layer of hoof wall here okay now so again this is just a little there's nothing to it folks see nothing to it you know you know a few thousands of pounds you see now you gotta remember again you got a big horse up on top of this but as 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 the weight comes down into the foot small foot 
the weight is magnified I, I don't know how many pounds per square inch but it'd be like you know 10,000 pounds per square inch on the foot or something like that they did a study on um, how much weight okay a woman's high heel you got that little bitty heel on a woman's stiletto or high heel about how many pounds per square inch is on that little bitty heel okay and it's like massive you know you can have a 90 pound woman soaking wet in a high heel and the amount of weight on that heel is like you know 500 times her own weight something like that okay okay so again what are you dealing with here are you dealing with one object or two you're dealing with one little flimsy two a flimsy little light object like this that is easily moved distorted hardest layer on the outside gets softer as you go in go on the inside and then you're dealing with this foot thousands of pounds of pressure pushing out from the inside of there say I mean, it's actually amazing that the thing holds together at all, considering what we do to it. And, uh, you know, what the horse, what happens when the horse doesn't get to trim his own feet by enough movement. Okay, so, what we want to do is we want to have as, we want to have a hoof capsule here that's going to perfectly fit this. And so, so we are growing a good foot. We're not cutting. We're not rasping. Uh, we're not trimming a good foot. We are growing a good foot. And our trimming is based on our understanding of the anatomy of the hoof capsule itself. You see, the hoof capsule itself has its own specific anatomy. And the way that it is structured, uh, the way it's engineered, what it is composed of, um, different strengths and hardnesses of this thin little wall right here that, that farriers just indiscriminately rasp the crap out of. Okay, now, when you take off this hard wall and you expose that inner softer wall, again, the weight of the horse from the inside pushes it out okay depending on if I was to say um, as a matter of habit just rasp down the whole outer wall okay that would weaken that wall so much that it would just splat out like that that's what you call a platter footed horse that's where the whole hoof wall instead of just like sometimes they'll flare in the toe because farriers like to rasp down that toe <coughs> Okay, but a lot of times if you, they'll rasp the whole foot and you'll see a horse like that will become platter footed like this. The whole wall will just expand like that. And you see this foot is supposed to be kind of kept up in the air like that. Well, when the whole hoof capsule expands, it just <clears throat> drops that foot right to the ground like that. And you get a real flat footed, platter footed, dinner plate footed horse as they call it. Okay, so, I think I need to take a break. I'm running out of inspiration. I need to eat something. Let's see, what else can I show you real quick? Because I got five more minutes. Hold on. And I've also had a cold, so don't mind my coughing. <coughs> All right. So, the more that you get... To know this foot and its shape and picture a hoof capsule on it the more you'll be able to just look at any foot on a horse and tell that that horse's hoof capsule is messed up and distorted and has pathological distortions or whatever okay but this is our inspiration right here and we're gonna do some measurements on this all right